Hello everyone, today I'm sharing the best and the worst popular products and my thoughts. And let me tell you, I have a lot of them and they're kind of different than what you might expect. I, I'm, I'm kind of going against the grain here, but hopefully you find this interesting. These are just, like I said, just some honest thoughts. Uh, I'll be flip-flopping back and forth between like good and bad and kind of like in between. If you're interested in anything, I'll have it all linked down below. Although some things I'm definitely not recommending, others I, I definitely do. So let's get started. All right, so since this video is gonna be pretty negative, I think I'm gonna start off on a positive note. And these first two products, I was so skeptical for the longest time. I I didn't even order them. I was like, no, it's just a hyped up thing. It's so cheap. Like there's no way it can really work well. But I finally succumbed. I ordered it and guys, no joke, I love it. So these are the ordinary skincare product. Like I love it. It's so good. If you're gonna order anything, try this, which is what they're known for. It's like the, it's the peeling mask that like looks like blood. Like it's so potent red, um, which honestly kind of makes it fun, but it's the AHA plus BHA peeling uh, facial. And AHA is alpha hydroxy acid and then beta hydroxy acid. And basically it just like melts off the dead skin cells. It's kind of tingly, a slight burning sensation, but like nothing bad. Like it honestly feels good. You leave it on for a maximum of 10 minutes. You can even do less if you want, but afterwards it's like instant gratification. It really makes your skin look glowy and smooth and beautiful. So highly recommend this. The price point is awesome. Like really, really well priced. And then I also really like this hyaluronic acid 2% plus B5. And and the point of this is to really plump up your skin with hydration. I already have oily skin, but this kind of plumps up your skin at the dermis level, so it like really goes in and kind of like plumps from within. So you can use this in the morning or the night. I was skeptical, I didn't believe it, but I really, really do like these. Moving on to another hyped up viral product, but this time, it sucks. It is the Kaida Brow Soap Styling Wax, whatever, I don't know. It is so popular on Amazon, everyone loves it. I was really excited to get it. It was only $7.99. In fact, I, in fact, I ordered two of them by accident. So you might be like, well, maybe you just got a bad one. No, I did not. It is awful, it's hard as a rock. It's like supposed to be this like waxy stuff and you take a spoolie and you rub it in there and it can give you those feathery brows that are kind of in style right now. And, and I, I kind of like that. Honestly, I just like setting my brows. I feel like it gives a better look. Don't even judge my brows today. I tried a new gel, not a fan of it. Normally I use the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Brow Powder. It's the best, just use an angled brush. I try so many different things and I always go back to that. And then I do like to set my brows with uh, this. Whoa, wow, I, you didn't see that, but I just like threw it up and I caught it. Uh, this, whoa, wow. Anyway, this is the Morphe brow styling gel. It like sets it and you can make them be feathery if you want, or if you just want to have them in place and not like moving around. This stuff just works great. It's clear and it lasts all day and, and isn't all gunky and goopy and stupid and dried out. So this next item, I am honestly really excited to share it with you. I have a lot I could say about it. Uh, and maybe you've heard of it, maybe you haven't, but this is the famous, renowned perfume. It's by Mason Francis Kirkjean. It's the Baccarat Rouge 540 perfume. First, this is so expensive, okay? This is $325 for this size. The reason I ended up ordering it is because I keep seeing so many videos, TikToks of just people raving about this scent as being like a scent they have never smelled before. The best scent in the world. The combination is just so amazing. People will ask, what is that? It was just like so many people saying this that I ended up ordering it. And the first day that I got it, I opened it around lunchtime. I sprayed one spray. I thought it smelled really, really good, really, really unique. Josh Josh mentioned that he really liked it too. And then later that night, we went to a small group at our church. We do that every other week. And no joke, no joke, three separate people commented on what perfume I was wearing. Two were women, one was a guy. The guy wasn't weird. He was just like, like looking around like something smells like really good. And it was me, it was this. So that was shocking. I definitely think this is interesting. I can't even explain what it smells like. It's kind of a mix between like a feminine scent and a slight masculine scent with like a little bit of musk, but not too much. It's kind of like musky woodsy, but also has a feminine flair to it, of course. Like it is, it is a female spray. Uh, so it kind of has saffron, jazz, amber, it really smells good and it is potent. So that could be a con and that's kind of the only slight con for me. So I can only like literally only use one spray of this and it lasts. So again, that could be a benefit for you guys. Like it will last 
all day into the next day. I mean, my goodness, I had a shirt that was on my chair, ended up falling on, on the floor by accident. My cat was laying on it. My cat smelled like this for two days straight, not even exaggerating. So anyway, this is something to keep in mind if you are a fan of perfumes. If you're not, then, then skip it. Okay, so this next one's probably gonna be a little controversial because there's so many people that love this and I haven't even tried it. So like, why could I have an opinion, right? Which is kind of valid. Um, so what I'm talking about is Magic Spoon cereal. You guys have seen the hype, I am sure. So many people are talking up this cereal as being keto friendly, you know, full of protein, zero grams sugar, just like a really, really healthy and delicious cereal. There's tons of flavors, everyone loves it. It's expensive, but people think it's worth it. So um, I was approached by Magic Spoon many, many times to promote them you know, on YouTube, Instagram and at first I was like kind of intrigued, but I just, I don't know, I started looking at the ingredients and, and you're right, like there, there's, it's zero grams of sugar. Um, so there's a lot of things I turn down all the time because I don't personally eat uh, things with high sugar content, you know? Uh, so, but I, it's zero grams of sugar. So I was like, oh, maybe. So then I started looking at the, the finer print and the way they sweeten this cereal is allulose which is a brand new type of sweetener. The FDA approved it a few years back, so it's very, very new. But what's so interesting is it's the first time the FDA has approved a rare sugar to not be a sugar. So it technically is sugar, but not a sugar, but it's a sugar. So basically allulose is pulled or extracted from certain uh, foods like raisins, figs, and it's a type of sweetener in, in very, very, very small quantities in these types of foods and they extract it and then they put it in like more of abundance through the cereal to make it, you know, be a lot sweeter and delicious. Uh, so my problem with it is, and, and again, I'm no doctor, I'm no scientist, it could be a thousand percent fine, I have no idea. I just don't like how it technically is a sugar, but they're like skirting around it. The pros of it, it doesn't spike uh, blood sugar like table sugar does and it, it, there's a lot less calories in it like it's essentially like no calories and so that's kind of another reason people can get around it with like weight loss and it kind of like looking healthy so anyway take all of this with a grain of salt this is just my opinion but i do think it's a little bit a little bit sketchy. Next up we have these Viore joggers, the performance joggers. And honestly, these were suggested to me by you guys. If you follow me on Instagram, shout out, follow me on Instagram. I put a little question box thing there of like, send me products that you think I should try. And I was kind of shook at how many people said these joggers. So I ordered them and now I understand. They are amazing. They are so soft so stretchy, but like so high quality. They, like there's so many colors to choose from. Um, they, they have pockets. They're, they really just, to me, embody like a stylish, high quality, but comfortable jogger. You can wear them around your house. You can wear them, you know, out for errands. They just look and feel so, so nice. And if you, like I'll link them below, like all, all of it I'll link below, but check out the reviews. Like there's just so many, like hundreds and hundreds of reviews at how amazing these look and feel. So I totally agree. So speaking of products that were suggested to me, I, you know, like I said, on Instagram, I, I had people send in products that they were obsessed with that was totally worth the hype. And then I had people send in products that they hated. And honestly, I was shocked at how many people agree with me on this. And I've talked about this before, but I cannot stand the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I have no idea why it is so, so hyped up. I mean, it has a cult following, but honestly, based on your response, uh, it kind of has a cult following of, of, of how many people don't like it. And you know, I don't wanna like, I don't like saying like terrible things about products and brands. I mean, I love Tarte. I recommend their, their makeup, their skincare, their brushes, like I love Tarte but their concealer is way too thick and cakey and like, oh, I just, I, I don't like it at all. Um, and not to, also the packaging, like, look at this. This is a complete disaster. Um, it's so messy. They need to kind of like fix the bottle. It gets everywhere. So if you are interested in trying a concealer, I try them all the time. I still, to this day, I'm, I'm going and back for the, the Born This Way uh, concealer. I love it. To me, it's so natural, but it still covers what you want to cover. It just, it just looks way better. Next, we have a product that is so incredible amazing. I have yet to find something it doesn't work on and it is the beloved the pink stuff. It is the cleaner, the miracle cleaning paste that literally works on like any surface and it works every time. I'm blown away by this over and over and over again. 
Um, so this is like, I, I feel like I've used it on so many different things, but yet I, I've barely even kind of like made a, a budge in it. Uh, but it smells really good. It's very well priced. Just, I feel like everyone should just have this in their little cleaning arsenal and I hate cleaning. So this is not a product that I would ever really think I was going to talk up. Um, but especially if you have like the glass cook stove top, that's where I really noticed like, wow, this works. Then I started using it on my shower. Then I started using it on the grout. Then I started using it in my bathroom. Then I, I mean, literally just use it on a, a, a tool thing outside that was like grimy and weird. like it literally just takes everything off so easily it's totally worth the hype okay guys I feel like it's the moment you've all been waiting for maybe I don't know I am going to share my thoughts on the Dyson air wrap thing that comes in. Wow. It's a very nice container and, um, all the attachments. I mean, there's the, the blow dryer, the curling air wrap, the smoothing head, the, the, just the blowout bristle brush thing. Uh, okay. I have a lot to say about this. I've been testing it out. I've been using it for a long time. Um, I've tried out all of the heads multiple times and let's just get the elephant out of the room here. How much does this cost? Honestly, I forget. I mean, it's insane. It's like 500 something, but I want to get the exact price. So hold on. $549. High level thoughts. It definitely works. It it's, I mean, it's Dyson. So when you buy something Dyson, it's like a luxury thing. It's, 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 you know, full of power. It's, it works, but 500 and 49 freaking dollars. I don't think it's worth it for at that price point. Um, if it was 300 something with all of these, like five or six, however many tools are in here, um, I do think at that point, yes. Now I want to kind of explain to you different things. I'm going to kind of show you how I do it. And then you can kind of decide for yourself if, if it's something you would want to splurge on. Because I do think that if you have the budget, you know, and this intrigues you and depending on your ha hair type and how you style your hair, this could be really good for you because there's a lot of people that really, really love this. And then there's some people that think that this is insane and they would never again pay this much money for it. So I'm going to start off with, which one should I start off with? Probably this, which is the, like the round brush that is amazing for creating kind of like a blowout look. Uh, and so all you do is you just stick it in, you know, the different heads. And the key is to always use this blow dryer attachment. So, uh, you want to use that first to get your hair about 80% dry to use the rest of the heads. And that's kind of the key. You don't want your hair to be sopping wet. It needs to be about 80% dry and then you'll proceed with the curling end or the smoothing end or this blowout brush. Uh, so what I do, I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to film the B roll one on one side and one on the other side, starting with this blowout. If you want it straight and really voluminous, um, what I do is I take the hair and I kind of wrap it around the brush and I go down and I pull it down and I do that a few times. And I also, if you notice, there is this, this section where you can do a shot of cold air to really set the hair. So I kind of try to remember to do that as the last pass and it really just sets it, smooths it, really gives it a lot of volume and it does work. Like it really dries the hair. It makes it super smooth. I think honestly, this might be my favorite attachment. So moving on to the curling wand here, but to remove this, you just push it down. Um, it does come with several different curling or air wrap wand or heads, whatever you want to call it. Honestly, I have really long hair, so they do have attachments that are longer. And I think it, for me, it would be worth it for me to go ahead and get the longer attachments because these are just too short. I just have too much hair. Um, but nevertheless, I do make it work and it does work. But my problem is it doesn't last for days. Whereas like today here, I styled my hair. Like I used this yesterday. My hair was completely flat this morning. Awful. Um, I, there'd be no way that I could wear my hair out at all after using these yesterday. So I had to restyle my hair with a typical hot curling wand. 
So like, duh, stupid. But I'm gonna show you quickly how I use this and just a few tricks and tips that I have kind of come up with. So again, you just add it right in here and a trick into knowing like how you should use this and which side because it, it like curls out different directions and there's arrows on here. Take the end or the head and look in the mirror and look at the arrows and whatever the reflection is on the mirror is the direction your hair work will curl. So everyone kind of wants to curl away from their face. So that's a little hack, a little trick. Look at the direction the arrow is in the reflection in the mirror and that's how you, you'll know that it's right. Okay, so then what you wanna do is your hair's again 80% dry and you want to literally feed it into the into the wand and it will like, it'll suck it up, it'll grab it, it'll like twist it around the barrel. It's really fascinating. It's where the cool technology kind of comes in and you want to, like once you get the end wrapped around there, then you want to make a, a circle. This is how it, it works for me. Make a circle with your, with your fingers and kind of like glide up the hair slowly and if you have long hair, you can then you know go kind of halfway up and then shoot the shot of cold air to set it and then after you hold that for maybe like five seconds then continue on up being super hot not too hot though I mean that's kind of the beauty of this it doesn't damage your hair it's like hot but not too hot but then you continue on up your hair and you will do like the whole section that you have and before you release it you want to shoot it with cold air to set it and then turn off the whole thing, turn the whole thing off. If you keep it running and try to pull out the hair, it just like goes insane and gets super tangly. That doesn't work. So turn off the thing and then you're left with a beautiful ringlet that's voluminous and dry and, and very, very curly. So you're gonna do that in sections through your whole head. Um, and honestly, it doesn't take too long and it really does dry your hair thoroughly. It works. And I feel like the first day, um, it's nice. But then the next day, it sucks. These are just my thoughts. I think it's it's really cool, but the price point is just crazy. And then there also are these um, heads. This is like a smoothing brush. So some people, you know, depending on your hair type, you could just like brush it out and it makes it really smooth. And I think people, different people's hair type and hair cuts, it could be really good. For me, I don't know. It's just, I guess it's just not quite there but I, I feel like it could be for some. So I feel like maybe this isn't helpful, but maybe it was, I don't know. So anyway, that is everything. And I have so many more products that I want to share with you that are terrible, that are awesome. So I maybe want to do a part two to this. So give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more. Um, comment down below, consider subscribing if you're new. Um, but thank you so much and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye.